gotten some really good news? Like, guess what? We're going to Disney World or something like that. Have you ever got? Do you remember when you got that good news? What? This is Tina's last day. This is Tina's last day. Athena's last day. At school. That's not good news. That's kind of bad news, huh? It's good news for her, but maybe sad for the rest of us, right? Yeah. But do you remember who gave you some good news? Who gave you some good news? What what good news did they give you? A pool. That is awesome news. Do you remember who told you? Your dad told you. Do you remember where you were when he told you? In the kitchen. Isn't that amazing how you can, we can remember stuff that's really good, right? Our scripture today says, beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. How's your feet looking? They're not so beautiful, but... What do you suppose that means? Beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Now, this is a special kind of good news. This is better good news than you're getting a pool. It's better than that. It's the good news of that God loves you, that Jesus came for you. What? Who's up in heaven with God? At the dog Annie. See, God loves dogs too. Isn't that good news? That's awesome news. And the kind of good news that Paul is talking about is the love of God in Jesus. Jesus who came to earth to love us, to teach us, to heal us. And then what happened? Remember, it has to do with this thing. He gave himself, right? And he was willing to do that because he loved us so much. And for people who don't know that kind of love, that is really good news. And I'll bet you that they remember where they were when they understood that for the first time. So it's not so much how pretty your feet are, but the Bible says it's our job to share that with people. And it's a beautiful thing when we help people come to know and love God and understand that God loves them. And the good news is those of us who are sent become a part of their lives as well. And so there's sharing of that love. So beautiful are the feet, beautiful are the people who share the good news because how else is anybody going to know? You don't know until your dad told you you were going to get a pool, right? How else would you have known? He told you. So it's our job to make sure that people know that Jesus loves them forever, always, no matter what. Isn't that good news? Even Annie, your dog. God loves. Annie, I'm sorry. Let's pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. My bad. Lord, thank you that you love us forever, always, no matter what. Help us share this good news with our friends, with our family, and those who want to hear that they may be part of your family. Pray.